everyone, welcome to episode 17 of our Blitz with Winter Tooth. So, Throg has found the second challenger, the uh, challenger of the crow, I think. And um, over here, our armies uh, just took out the rebellion that was that was here to get get some experience and money and loot. Uh, and now we are looking to take these guys out. This should go pretty well. Um, I have two sorcerers in the army. Um, uh, this guy, who I named with Throg, um, he's level 21, has a lot of good stuff. This guy is just level 1, um, I'm just kind of bringing him in to have some extra buffs like this plus 8 melee attack for allies and negative 8 melee attack for enemies will um, really help wherever he is. So I'm going to try to make sure he gets into like a nice blob with chaos warriors and stuff. don't really care if he dies, but he shouldn't. Um, anyway, so let's uh, let's just get into it. So Autoresolve is really far in our favor already. Um, we also have three banners of Eternal Flame with uh, frogs, so there will be a plenty of fire attack, um, along with frostbite attack for. Um, and then uh, these guys also do armor sundering, so that should be good. Let's um, let's get into it. We're just gonna like basically charge them and uh, mess them up. So let's see, they have two halberd units here that are anti-large. Other than that, nothing here is explicitly anti-large. I don't think those uh, chaos knights are not the lance variety, so they. They're not anti-large. Um, yeah, all right. So this guy's actually probably going to be pretty far in the, in the rear. Okay. So let's have these guys as team one. And then um, these guys as team two and on the other flank. I want one guy with um, with the banner of eternal flame in each of these um, units here. Alright. And then um, oh, this guy can get into team one as well. And then these guys will be team three. Actually, put two on this side, and then three on the other side because um, just because of where those numbers are. So like two is my left flank, three is my right flank. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Let's um let's go ahead and and start. It looks like they're trying to retreat to this hill area over here. I'll walk everybody for now. Okay, so we lost two trolls so far from the Belkanans. Alright, let's just start running in there. Let's unlock all the groups. Let's 
see everyone charging in. Okay, let's do this uh, flame storm thing. No, not quite yet. I'll let Throg. These guys just all go after. All right, looks like everyone is getting into the fight here. Start applying some buffs. Okay, let's apply a Helm of Discord over here. And the, uh, our buff on our guys. There we go, and then, um, maybe the flame storm thing right there. Let's see, everything looks like it's going pretty well. This guy in here. Let's see, okay. Um, flame storm. We could do that, but it's a vortex, so it'll like move. Okay, these guys. We don't want them to get annihilated. Pull them out. Let's do another burning thing. And another buff on everyone. Oh wait, it didn't, it didn't do that. Okay. A few more seconds until we have uh Home of Discord back. Probably didn't need to do that. Let's see. Let's uh, get everyone here that is looking like they're in a bit of trouble. Where's the Throg? There we go. Alright, they're all retreating now. And our trolls are faster than them, so we can. should be able to catch them all. Well, well, almost all of them. We won't be able to catch their cavalry. Uh, let's see. Where are the crows? Pretty much screwed there. Let's see. Yeah, this guy's almost dead. Okay. Well, we would have been able to chase down more of them, but we fought very close to the edge of the map, so that's not going to happen. There we go. Alright, we just uh, rolled over the second challenger army. There we go. Enemy lord is dead. Which should mean the end of the battle, yeah. Alright. Well, I think overall that went pretty well. We didn't lose any units, they lost a lot of key units. Um, the giant, the troll, their chaos spawn, their hell cannons. Let's see. Overall, they really got very few kills. But of course, this is a troll army, so our numbers are very slow. Like we only deployed 204 troops. Alright, we'll uh, go ahead and sacrifice those captives. Get some more money. 
Here we go. Win the following battle. Eagle's Challenger. So this is the final challenger. Um, let's see, we can see their forces here. Chaos Warriors, Chosen with Halberds, uh, Dragon Ogres, Armored Chaos Trolls, and they have reinforcements expected. Okay. Let's see where this is. Okay, it's right there. So, um... Since this is a quest battle, I think we can only bring in uh, troops belonging to uh, Trog's army. There we go, let's go finish these guys off. See, I could finish them off, or I could... But I want to try to bring in... No. I just want to finish these guys off as quickly as possible and then go do the final challenger battle. So let's see, can I get into reinforcement range? I can actually get over here. Let's see, will I be able to recruit anything? I should be able to hire some regiments of renown. However, I don't think we have any regiments of renown to hire. However, one one round of healing might be enough for us to um, be ready to fight this battle next turn. So I think I'll just leave this army here for now. We'll we'll deal with it eventually. Um, and I'll just go over here. To the Tower of Karak. There we go, you can see this will get pretty much all the way healed up. Okay, so next turn I'll be able to get Brutes of the Hound. Um, and that guy also might be able to join the battle. So I should probably give him a Helm of Discord, because having a second Helm of Discord would be really useful. Let's see, I should be able to also hire another Chaos Sorcerer here, so let's do that. So then we can have a lot of... Um, let's see, do I want to fire one, death one, or metal one? This guy's fire, this guy's death, so I might as well get a metal one. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll recruit him. We can embed Throg's army. And, um... Next turn we should have a pretty decent army here. Um, with this guy to join them to do the quest battle. Okay. I'll, I'll get him his armor and stuff later. But anyway, now... Over here we have... Um, oh, our army upkeep is absolutely insane. We gotta do something about reducing the upkeep, because... 3800 a turn is not sustainable. Definitely not sustainable. Um, let's see here. Okay, so we hired a bunch of generals. Moving up. Take okay. Okay, this guy got a war mirror. This guy's on a war mammoth now. And so we should be able to take out this army. I will not obey. Overrun the world. Tremble, weaklings. Okay, they ran away, but we should still be able to to crush them with with this guy. Um
Yeah, so this shouldn't be any problem for a war mammoth. This guy, does he have regeneration? Yes, he's, he's got regeneration, he's got poison attacks, he's also got fireballs, so this should be fine. Actually, I'm not going to record this battle. This is super boring. Alright, I am back, and we are ready to advance to turn 53. And uh, next turn, we should be ready to do this this uh, final challenger battle. Um, Yes, yeah, so let's just uh, end the turn right now, um, and that'll save the game, which is... Oh, this guy. Shoot, this guy. What do I want to do with him? Um, so he can come over here. This has got personal speed. Bunch of bullshit. All right. Okay, let's, um, let's end the battle, and end the turn. Alright, so we're at uh, turn 53 now. I've just taken care of a couple housekeeping things. Um, over here we uh, sacked Castle Carcassonne, just auto-resolved it, there was nothing to do there. And then moved main attack 1 into Athel Lauren. So they're just at the very border of getting into there. So next turn they'll be able to sack King's Glade for, for about 20,000 or so, and there's a, there's an army and like two lords there, so uh, we should get some decent post-battle loot next turn from that. And then um, right here, tank support one is ready to go and attack Worthbad. Um, so make sure there's nothing in the area. Okay, let's just do it. And um, yeah, this is just an easy auto resolve. A little bit nervous about this frost worm though. Yeah, that's fine though. Alright. Okay. That's the same frost worm we got on the very first battle. Um, he's got some nostalgic value. There we go. Sack that for 19k. That's pretty good. And now this settlement over here we can also sack for 10k. And then, uh, let's see, Grunberg and Nuln are pretty useless. Altdorf, if we could go attack them again um, for 6k. But yeah, some of these, these settlements up here, they're just not really all that worth attacking. Um, let's see, Wiesenberg, 7k. I think coming around here with this army is going to be the most economical direction to go. Um, Let's see if we can't get these armies together. Yeah, so we should be able to unite them around here. So let's do that. Um, bring this guy as far as he can go. Make sure we don't stick him in in attrition. Um, I will not obey. Okay, and then. Uh, Bring these guys in reinforcement range so they're all supporting each other. Okay, so that's fine. Um, so now we have a good amount of money, and we can finally do the final challenger battle. Um, Let's see, I think I'll just go ahead and attack this guy first though, just because he's very conveniently located himself right next to Drog. Um, oh, interesting, I actually can't join up this guy until I destroy these guys. So yeah, we'll just do that, Probably, possibly just hard 
Okay, he ran away. Um, if I chase him, I won't have enough movement to do the final battle, so I have to do that. I absolutely have to. Um, I eat my enemies! Move him right there. Uh, I think I can get this guy in with and still have enough movement in Throg. Yeah, okay. Alright, so Trog has 19 out of 20 units. I'll just hire this one regiment of renowned unit here to uh, make his army as powerful as possible before going into the final challenger battle. So let's take a look here. We got um, like uh, lords with the brass cleaver and glittering scales combo, so 16 melee um, attack difference. One helm of discord, two helm of discords, and yeah, so we got two helm of discords and then um, two total shit dudes here, but we have a level 21 wizard here. And then all our elite trolls and um, some decent regiments of renown. So yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. All right, so um, how much actual anti-large do they have? They have uh, two chosen with halberds. Um, uh, let's see, dragon ogres are anti-large. Yeah. Um, really just the dragon, so very not much anti-large. I suspect this will end up being pretty easy. I've designed this army to be very, very powerful. Just want to get into a tight melee formation so that our buffs and debuffs affect as many of our units and their units as possible. Gangling fool over there is champion of the Eagle God! Look at him panic! He tries to summon more of the Eagle puppets, but he'll never have enough to defeat the Troll King! He summons them only for us to kill! For me to eat, they will all know! I am the Lord of the Monster Horde! Alright, so our troll army here is going to um, just kill them and stuff. Alright, so let's see, these, I'm going to spread out the guys that have the banner of eternal flame. Um, keep these guys in the center because they're incredibly strong. No, no, Trog has to be in the center, of course. Okay. Okay, these two guys, um, I'm just going to have them stay with, with Trog here. Yeah, I'm going to have all the wizards and Trog stay together. Then, um, these guys, these guys can just click that. I'll have these guys stay with Trog too. Um, and these guys will just be, I guess, behind or something. Alright, doesn't really matter. Um, actually, I'm gonna make them all come chase me, because we have a uh, guy with um, a fireball. Or, hmm. Alright, so let's get, the, the, the enemy lord also has a special, like, buff where he's void, immune, uh, viewed with protection. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Um, I think I might just waste the ammo of their hell cannon, and then camp, corner camp on this hill. That, that'll be the most efficient way to do this.
Alright, let's do this. We do also only have Okay, it looks like they might be mobilizing to come in and attack us. My wizard will beat this hell cannon one on one. Looks like they are indeed. Oh, he got the. Right, let's not shoot that fireball. Don't need it. Destroyed the hell cannon. They are going to be attacking us up this giant hill here. So let's um, you know, really capitalize on that. We'll also make them kind of deal with this thing here. This is kind of cool. I can like park my wizards on it and shit. Let's put our wizards there and make them kind of split their forces. see their army. Like, <laughs> come on. Alright, so they're splitting their forces, which means we can, um, once their forces are split, kind of charge it down on one half of the army. Whoa. Alright, let's charge it down. big concentration of, of their troops right there. We'll um, call down the flame storm thing right there. Alright, this is all looking pretty good. Okay, that's one Helm of Discord used. Let's go ahead and use the other one. Those are just Marauder Horsemen, they they're not going to do anything. Alright, let's do another Flame Storm thing right here on top of all of them. There we go, Enemy Lord is dead, we did it. Okay. Um, I think that's it, right? Like. Does it even matter that much if how much of these other things we kill? Alright, let's uh, start pulling back anyone that's damaged. And everyone else can go ahead and uh, go after these mammoths and stuff. So the mammoths aren't actually going to do all that well against... Um, Where was... There we 
There we go. Their, uh, their mammoths are not doing so great. Okay, what are these? Harpies? Who the hell uses harpies? These guys with Krog. Keep them in the fight here. Um, there we go. Looks like everyone is about to break. Let's make sure to kill this guy. Bulk Deathmaker. Make sure that those guys are on him. Take down the Sparrow Mammoth. And vomit at him. And a fireball. Why not? Wow, okay, they missed, missed a mammoth. Like, really? Okay, these guys are actually getting. Hammered over here. Okay, these trolls should be able to take out that mammoth there. Okay, I think they are all routing now. Just wanted to try to kill this guy. He's a beastman though, so he's actually pretty fast. Yeah, this guy's actually my fastest, so I'll need him. Just want to destroy this guy. Possible. Come on, there we go. Okay, we ran him down. All right. Well, I think we did pretty well. We didn't really have any huge casualties on anyone. Destroyed uh, two of the lords. All right. Oh wow, we got a heroic victory. All right. Was not expecting a heroic victory, whatever. Okay, so hopefully this should trigger the invasion of chaos on turn 53. <laughs> uh, I, from other replays I've seen, uh, everyone else seems to need about a hundred more turns than this in order to trigger chaos. Uh, too bad I couldn't get this guy. Um, okay, we've got 8,000 loot from that. Post battle loot, nice. Uh, another 2,000 from sacrificing captives. And uh, 15,000 from winning the battle. Nice. Oh, yes, here we go. We're definitely going with I'm the true ever chosen. I definitely am I've been gunning for that 75% upkeep reduction for all forces. Painting the lands. And with it, the warriors of chaos march. We must ready ourselves, for war is coming. But who has brought the warring tribes together? What manner of champion holds that power? Right. 
so that is good. Uh, I believe there's some chaos armies. Oh, some nice juicy chaos armies to destroy right here. Total of six stacks. Nice. Um, well, this is good. This we will make so much money stomping chaos into the ground, and then we will lose uh, pretty much that entire army upkeep of negative twenty nine thousand a turn. Um, this is exactly what I wanted to have happen as soon as possible, so I'm really happy with that. I'm going to pause recording here and uh, figure out exactly what I want to do before I proceed. Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 17. So I um, I did advance the turn once, and the Chaos Armies, four of them moved over here, and two of them moved over here. Now, Prince Sigvald and uh, Sartharel do have themselves in... Um, in range for us to go at and attack them. So I I have this guy here with uh, just just some hunters and um, him. He's really just a support general that I hired last minute. Um, tank support two. He's got all our uh, beefy uh, Vermeer and uh, the special legendary sorcerer as well as war mammoths. Uh, he is in in the uh, forced man forced march stance though. So um, these units will be exhausted. And then tank support six is uh, is ready to go and attack Prince Sigvald. Now I would love to bring tank support three in, but the um, there's just not enough room to squeeze him in over here. It's already occupied by those two generals and it's too tight. So it'll just be three armies. So. Um, that is what we're planning to do next. However, since this is getting close to the end of episode 17, I want to save that battle for later and instead just do this battle against um, King's Glaive. So, if we, uh, well, when we win, um, the sack value for King's Glaive is about 23k. We should get about 5 to 8k from destroying these armies as well. Um, I could do Lightning Strike, but then Orion's army would retreat afterwards, and I want to kill Orion. And I also want to be able to go into Force March and get right out of the forest and keep moving with uh, this with this army. So let's go ahead and attack. Um, yeah, let's do it. So I've looked at the map. The uh, does look like they're kind of they start kind of on a hill here. So we're just going to have to like run up and um, we're just going to run up and demolish the army. But actually since Ryan's deploying like right here, I think we'll we'll deploy right here and just fight his army first. So we'll get the chariots going over there to the side as quickly as possible. We'll get our war mammoth into the fray as quickly as possible. And just charge them with our marauders. Also about as quickly as possible. We'll put him at King 5 with these guys. Alright. This should go pretty well. We'll gamble for some more starting magic. I really want to fight him here because it's, it's flat, it's a field. Um, they're going to be coming in disorganized. There we go. Alright, so we've got some spear infantry over here, so let's bring our chariots around the spear infantry. Okay, that guy took a lot of arrows. Okay. 
It's like you guys really want to try to um, climb the hill. Keep chasing them with our Chaos Marauders. We'll go right around the Spearmen. Let's crash into all these guys with our Chariots. And if they don't want to turn around, that's fine. We'll just completely annihilate all these guys. Try to chase them uh, more away from the map than towards the edge of it. Okay. So it does look like, uh, okay, all those guys are done. So they just completely ignore the fact that we were attacking their army, and um, and just tried to rejoin the rest of their army at the top of the hill. So that's fine. We'll uh, we'll regroup. They've done hardly any damage to our army. See, this unit's really the only one that's taken a significant amount of damage. Um, let's see, we'll put them in team three, kind of behind. Okay. Well, that was uh, that was pretty easy. Um, however, now they're just they're camping on this hill over here, so we just got to keep advancing on them. See, everyone here is fresh. That's good. It looks like they're uh, joining forces and then preparing to set up a line of some sort. Hawk Riders here. Interesting, we actually can't kill those Hawk Riders. Um, I think staying here in the forest is a pretty good idea. Let's see, we can shoot fireballs. Oh no, we can do uh, Fate of Juna on these guys. I think that's the only way you can really do a significant amount of damage to them. We bring the rest of our chariots up here. There we go. They're doing hardly any damage to us at all. Let's just charge them. What are these guys going to do? Let's see. Armor and weapon damage. Um, let's bring all the stuff behind, all our chariots and stuff behind, all our, uh, let's see, these guys are taking a bit of damage, put them into team three. Let's 
And then uh, we should be able to just kind of come in, come in the rear here. Okay, we'll use our other guy to do the, uh... Oh shoot, we used all our... We'll just do... Some, some uh... Transmutation of lead stuff. Ryan. Okay, that's the, uh, you need to make sure to destroy their... Okay. Where is Ryan? Where did Ryan go? Shoot, those guys need to get out of there. These guys are taking way too much damage. Oh, there's there's a oh, there's a tree man. Let's take him out. One more thing to take out these Hawk Raiders. Where did Ryan go? Where is he? Here he is, he's right there. Okay. Now there's like a tree man hero guy over here somewhere. Okay, there's Orion. I want to take him out. There he is. Let's see, do we have any chance of taking him out? He's got about a thousand hit points left. That treeman is shattered. I just want to make sure to kill him right here. That's what I mainly want. Okay, this guy's over here. Don't know if there's any chance we'll be able to get there in time. I mean, they're not really. S it's kind of slow. Okay, there we go. Ryan's been destroyed. Fortunately, I don't have a thing that... No, we won't be able to kill him. Okay, that's good enough. Alright, well, we should make some fantastic loot here. I'm guessing about 30,000 in total. There we go, about 6,500 there. And then about 2,300 here, so almost 30,000 from uh, this battle. Okay, so now we are taking attrition here. We like to get over here so that we don't have to take any more attrition. 
And I'm not going to try to uh, sack any more of, of the um, of Athelorn just yet. It when it's I think it's going to be more um, more profitable to come and attack these dwarven settlements here, and then get into this area, and then um, just just keep going as hard and fast as we can with these guys. All right. So earned a good amount of money that turn, and um, yeah, so that's it for this episode. Next episode we will actually fight this battle here, two full stack chaos armies, two um, two and a half stacks of, of our armies. It should be a really fantastic fight, and we should crush it. So join me next time for part 17 or 18.